Mm. Wow, that's incredible. That is very, very good. What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Hello, hello. We are sitting right outside of the Swan and Dolphin Resort and the Boardwalk. Check that out. Not a bad view, right? It's a uh, night turned into a gorgeous night. It was a little warm earlier, but things yeah. are starting to cool off. And we're a little we, worried about the rain. Yeah, you know, um, but Florida in July, what do you, or June, what do you expect? Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, we just wanted to turn our Saturday into a little date night. So yeah, we are and here and we got some reservations at Trattoria of Forno in yep. about 20 minutes. Yeah, and so we wanted to do a full dining review. Uh, our dining reviews are typically some of our more popular content on our channel. Uh, we have vowed to you guys we're going to review every single restaurant at Disney Springs, but you know, might as well just review every restaurant at Disney too. Mm -hmm. So, well, Boardwalk is one of our favorite places to come. Yeah, just you know the atmosphere and the food and the drink options. Yeah. how close it is Can't to Epcot. Can't beat it. I, you know, really, this is one of my favorite parts. So, can beat know, it. It's very romantic for us uh, newly engaged. Newly engaged people. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna make a flash a ring everywhere we go. We did have these engagement buttons, by the way, um, but we figured we probably shouldn't wear those everywhere. Um, but anyways, uh, Trattoria El Forno is a fantastic Italian restaurant. It's very popular. Uh, unfortunately, during uh, COVID, um, several of the restaurants on the boardwalk are closed right now. So Trattoria El Forno is even more happening than ever. But it's uh, got very good pizza, some great pastas, and we're going to go in on a lot of it. Yeah, we're going to have some Italian food. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys are ready for a great brand new dining review. If you're new to our channel, definitely check out the rest of our dining reviews and the rest of our videos. We cover Disney Universal uh, and beyond. Uh, we love to do dining reviews though. This is some of my favorite uh, type of videos to do. We're big foodies. We you like to eat. Noticed. We like to eat. I like food. And Disney's got a lot of great food. So it does. We're gonna eat some of this Trattoria El Forno and if you're interested in coming here, hopefully we can convince you to come eat some great Italian food on the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. and like, well, well. The great thing about Trattoria is that you don't need to have a park reservation for it. Yeah. Uh, you just, you know, if you have a reservation, you can park right at the boardwalk. Yep. Um, and, you know, that's just a great way to experience some Disney without having to pay for a ticket. And what's beautiful about the boardwalk, too, is uh, there's plenty to do here. You know, uh, if, you're, if you're not wanting to go to the park, there's plenty to do here. Bars, restaurants. Beach and Yacht Club's right across the way, and now the Skyliner. Um, in order to, you don't have to have a park reservation to go on the Skyliner. You just need to have, uh, you know, the ability to come to one of these resorts. So, all right, guys. So let's go try Trattoria El Forno. Show you guys a full dining review, and uh, yeah, hope you guys like it. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's do it. So we're here. We got ourselves a table. Uh, it's definitely busy tonight, Saturday night. So Saturday uh, night, and there are all of like two restaurants open on the boardwalk. Yeah. So, so make reservations early. That's uh, one piece of advice we can already give you. Absolutely. Um, the menus are scannable, um, fun. which honestly I think might be a mainstay post-pandemic because I think Disney just wants to save money. So. I don't know. Yeah, probably. I mean, printing menus and stuff, which is too bad because I hate sitting on my phone at dinner. I you hate. Know, even if I'm yeah. looking at a menu, like. It but just... We were hungry enough to have already kind of figured out what we want. Yeah, we may have looked at the menu ahead yeah. of time, and we know exactly what we're getting. So. Yeah, so we're pretty much down to it. But I will say, from what I've heard, the pastas are really great, and I've also heard the pizzas are really great. Here, we have so. eaten here before, and uh, a handful of times, I've always yeah. been. Totally happy with my meals. Very I'm satisfied. Impressed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have probably been here like three or four times. I yeah. Think, you know, over yeah. the years. It's a uh, Victoria. Oh my gosh, how long has it been open now for? It's probably been. Long time. You know, seven, eight years or more. Yeah. Um, they do breakfast options. Um, currently, I don't think the character yeah, breakfast is running, but they do mm -hmm. breakfast and then lunch and dinner is the same menu. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna figure out what we want and then uh, order some food and some yeah, drinks. Give me a couple yes. minutes. I'll be ready. To see no you. problem. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, what's up? So because I'm me, of course I ordered a cocktail. I got a Moscow Mule um, because I love them, but they do have a great handcrafted cocktail list. Um, you and, know, can uh, I turn you on to Moscow Mules? Maybe you did, I don't know. I don't think you like ginger before that. I never really know how it happens. I just, I get a drink, usually. He'll but, drink whatever, he's a garbage disposal. <laughs> and I'll eat whatever. But, uh, so what's cool about this kitchen, I was actually just talking to one of the, uh, one of the executive chefs here. This is a fully open kitchen. I'll show you guys some footage in this video of what I'm talking about. They do have a full, like, open oven for their pizzas. I think we're gonna grab a pizza because it is pretty, uh, well known here. Um, and, uh, you can see, uh, in that footage, they got those big flames going on. They'll actually deliver the food to be, uh, picked up right in front of everybody, too. So, I just kind of find those kind of kitchens really fascinating when it's not behind a closed door. It's kind of open cook like that. I mean, that. it just holds them to an, a higher standard, you know? Dizzy does, tends to do that a lot. Um, yeah. It's also a defined dining thing. Yeah, it puts your, it puts your chefs on, uh, on, on stage, kind of, you know? Yeah, they're they're exactly. there for a performance. So, uh, so yeah, all the... I've worked in the back of a kitchen. Nothing pretty goes on there. Yeah, all the cooks back there uh, were very kind to me when I was taking some footage up close of all their meals and how they prep it. Uh, so I hope you guys like that footage, but uh, everything looks delicious in here. It smells great in here. Every really cool little atmosphere. Every time someone walks by with a plate, I'm like... Yeah, we, we keep changing our minds on what we want. Yeah, the lasagna looks really good. The pizza yeah. looks really good. Yeah. I have gnocchi, so we have to get it. I mean... Yeah, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna have a smorgasbord of options to show you guys. Uh, the menu is not huge, uh, but it, it's clearly like all handmade. High quality. Yeah. Yummy stuff. Honestly, I... There were ha half the things on the menu I wanted to order. Yeah. We just, you know, are two people and... Yeah, absolutely. We have tried several of the Italian restaurants over at Disney Springs and uh, other places on property. I'm interested to see how this compares to some of the other Italian restaurants on property. And we'll kind of let you know how we'd uh, rank it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna wait for our first round, which is salad and arancini. Yeah. Which Molly really wanted, so we'll let you know. So we got our first uh, kind of round, round. of food. Uh, uh, rounds of drinks, rounds of food. Yes. Uh, so we started off with a uh, kale-based Caesar salad, which look at this thing. It is it's so cute. surrounded by so, a crouton. Yeah, it's basically like a, a circular <laughs> crouton. So I'm really excited to dive into this and get some veggies in me. Um, you know, mild. But then, um, we, a little on the dirtier side, we went with the arancini here, um, which has, uh, arancini is basically fried rice mozzarella balls. Um, it's got yeah. some real crispy, I believe this is pancetta, so basically bacon. Mm. And then, you know, a little bit of red sauce and some, you know, toppings to go with it, so I'm very yeah, excited. Yeah, Molly, like Molly very loves very herself some cheese and she loves fried and, and all Italian stuff. We're, we're big Italian food fans. And we usually actually don't go out to Italian restaurants, but when it's cooked well, it's cooked well. In fact, uh, uh, if you guys ever get a chance, go up to Winter Park when you're not in Disney and try out Prado. That's an amazing Italian restaurant. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to dig in. Let's, let's try these things for the camera. For the people. For the babe. So uh, I will notice right off the bat with the arancini, they do have uh, lots of sauce. And they said, I talked to uh, one of the chefs, his name was Tim, really nice guy here. If you have any questions, go ask him. Uh, but he was telling us about how the sauces here, that's like the whole story be behind Trattoria Al Forno, is the sauces are cooked all in that pizza oven. So basically, if you're going to come here, try the pizza. It's one of the things that he said you have to try when you come here. It's all about very homemade and sweet sauces and um, the bread as well. It. So good. So the arancini is very, very good, I will say. I could eat that forever and ever. It melts in your mouth, so uh, that's that's actually not on the appetizer menu, it's on the sides menu. Side. Uh, don't underestimate their side items. Garlic bread, they have... Um, uh, shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi, they have some really great sides. Your salad's really good too. I actually like this round crouton because it's like very light and crispy. It's not like a crouton that like, you know, like breaks your tooth. 
I know, and it is very unique. So, yeah, two very good items right off the bat. If you guys are interested in um, starting off with an appetizer or salad, I would recommend both of these. But the arancini is very good. It literally melts in your mouth. So Amazing. All right, so uh, I just spoke with uh, Tim again, as I mentioned earlier. He's one of the executive chefs here. And uh, Valeria, who is uh, one of the leaders here. Uh, both wonderful people, so if you guys need anything while you're here, definitely talk to either of them. But uh, Tim was giving me a tour of the whole restaurant, which uh, I did uh, film funny and B-roll footage to show you some of that. But he was just talking about the history of this place and the whole story behind it. Um, it started off with a very small family-esque style restaurant uh, that originated. Um, and then when they came over here to Florida and the States and everything, they wanted to expand, but slowly. So uh, what he was explaining about that was in the restaurant itself, you'll notice that like they're separate little rooms and it, it gets like slowly bigger as you walk out, which I find very fascinating. And all over the walls, they actually have uh, photos of, uh, you know, uh, family S style photos. Yeah, and then also they actually have like uh, Naki rollers and uh, pizza trays and stuff that they, they use the same ones in-house that they have on the walls, which is also really cool. And on that note, any Disney restaurant that you go to, there's always a story behind it. So mm -hmm. if you want to, you know, take that magic to the next level, ask about it because there isn't a single Disney owns restaurant on property that doesn't have some sort of backstory to it. Absolutely, and they and they love to talk about it because you know they want you to have a great time. You're here on vacation. Uh, they obviously wanted us to have a great time because we're filming this for you guys and we're sharing sharing this restaurant with the world. Uh, but but no, I mean I just uh, I really love the feel of this place. The story is really authentic, and there's uh, there really is uh, there's actually fine china on the wall over there, which I'll show. And uh, over in, there's a little separate room, which is actually super intimate on the other side with some more china and little bottles and stuff. So so the whole feel of the restaurant's great. Uh, and what did we order? So for our main entree, um, the shrimp pappardelle was highly recommended by the head chef and our, wait our waiter. So, yep. uh, you know, we figured might as well go with that. And then a uh, classic margarita pizza because I yep. uh, feel like you can judge every Italian restaurant by their margarita pizza. Yeah, and uh, the chef also recommended that as well he set up all the pizzas that's the one to get um, and they did say numerous times that the pizza is their like main main like stay mm -hmm. uh, so and, uh, and, I, and I'm not surprised because going over there and checking out the oven, beautiful is, oven yeah so so we're excited we'll show you guys all this food when it comes out uh, we're gonna eat some bread enjoy the Moscow mule and uh, yeah this place has been great so far highly recommend So we got our food. Um, uh, this all looks absolutely delicious. Um, so as you can see from the footage I just filmed, but the pizza comes out on your own little pizza tray like this, which is awesome. It is. It's very individualized, but I love that. Shrimp. Uh, what is this? Harpadel. Harpadel. Got it. Sorry, I don't know big words. Um, <laughs> But this looks fantastic. The size of the shrimp is incredible. They're like They're very big. Beautiful, honestly. The shrimp are like probably like across or like an inch long. Like it's just crazy. And we were actually gonna go with the naki or the lasagna, but this was recommended twice. Yeah, by us. So I'm really ready to uh, dive in. So let's uh, let's give these a shot on camera and let you know like first reactions for you guys. Uh, so it looks like I mean wow. Yeah. So they're pappardelle are big noodles. Big noodles. So you might want to use your fork. Uh, the pappardelle, it has, you know, the, the noodles, the shrimp. It comes with, um, I believe, uh, artichokes and um, yellow bell peppers. So that, that sauce is delicious. And very with white creamy. wine sauce. Yeah, very creamy. Mm. Wow, that's incredible. That is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Like top tier Disney pasta good. Yes, it's probably some of the best white wine, white wine sauce I've ever had. The shrimp is incredible. It's huge. All the shrimp pieces are very big. Oh, it's like so buttery. Very, very big fan of that. I'm going to get the uh, pizza. As Portnoy would say, one bite everybody knows the rules.
And what's the one bite? It's very good. I'm definitely a bigger fan of the pasta, I'm not gonna lie. I think the pizza is very good though. I love the dough, you can tell the dough is actually handmade. It, uh, it's not floppy at all, it's very soft, which I really mm -hmm. like. Very thick pieces of cheese, which is also very good. Yeah, I'm excited to have leftovers of this smell. And fresh basil. Everybody loves mm -hmm. fresh, basil. fresh basil. Some of Molly's I'll favorite stuff. I'll do dirty things for fresh basil. But I will say this uh, right here. Takes the cake. Is the highlight of the meal so far. The arancini is very good. I think that's a good second place. But I think this is probably this is, this is probably the top of the line. Uh, I mean, it's just like the noodles are incredible. The sauce is amazing, and the shrimp is like they're they're huge pieces of shrimp, which is like my favorite part of the whole meal. So, so yeah, if you're gonna come here, highly recommend giving this one a shot. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna keep eating and I'm gonna crush this plate. So the staff just brought us a uh, free Mickey cheese pizza, which is awesome. They it's literally bake it uh, as a Mickey, which is, uh, I just showed you uh, on the footage itself, but we'll try to lift it up. Check that out. See that? We don't want it to fall, Perfect. but uh, it's really cool. They do that. Uh, I know they do that for kids, uh, but also I'm sure that I'm sure there's an option for adults. Everybody's a kid at Disney World, right? Everybody's a kid. Uh, but yeah, so that was really cool. I will say that my favorite part about the pizza, I was just telling Molly, is the dough. Uh, he did say uh, that all the dough is made in house every day, and then also the uh, sauce as well. So I mean. Overall, they're both really great, but just for me personally, I would say that the uh, the dough is my favorite part of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also, to be honest, uh, I really do love the uh, the big yellow tomatoes that they have on top of yeah. the pizza. Those are like sweet just because you don't have the yellow tomatoes on pizza too often, and so yeah. it's just like a totally different kind of uh, flavor. But I will say the absolute highlight of this meal is the shrimp parmesan. One hundred percent. We can bring the pizza home. This is yeah. We're this is being we're focusing in on this. Tonight. Okay, so. If you like shrimp, uh, get this, please, because this is like honestly one of my new favorite meals to get at Disney World now. Um, it's it's so creamy, it's delicious, it, it's it, the butter's perfect, and then they have you know all these fresh spices in there, the artichokes, it's Capers. it's it's just it's a beautiful meal, delivered wise, and it's delicious. So that's definitely our highlight. But sure. overall, everything's been great. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are awake. Alrighty, so we're winding down here. We're both very full. Um, and uh, we just wanted to tell you, kind of close up this whole little video. Yeah, yeah. this food was really, really good. Um, I will say as good as the pizza was, the pasta totally, yeah. totally took the cake. Um, and I'm so full, I can't eat. Yeah, we honestly were originally gonna get some dessert, whether it was here or the new Boardwalk ice cream shop. But, but like, uh, if I have another bite of food, it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah, we're 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 tapping out. We're tapping out here. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say that uh, the staff here was tremendous. Service was great. Uh, both Tim, the executive chef, and Valeria, the leader here, they were both awesome to us. Like I said, if you ever come here and you have questions, go ask either of them some questions. Especially Tim. He se he seems to know all the history yeah. of this restaurant, and he was super kind to us. Mm -hmm. uh, but. If you like shrimp, I highly suggest getting that dish because absolutely. that was absolutely. Even if you don't like shrimp, I feel like you'll like shrimp when you eat this. I uh, it's, I it's, was never historically a shrimp guy. You're, yeah, you're not. Like but that's fast. typically something you eat very occasionally. But yeah, I mean we this were full. Meal and, was incredible. Yeah, that was and the artichokes too. I'm not even a huge artichoke fan, and they melt in your mouth. Yeah, they're just like so, nice and buttery and yeah. Just, oh, so and then good. the arancini is also delicious. I will say from previous experience. Uh, we loved uh, the little garlic bread they bring out too, um, and that Caesar salad is super unique. So overall, this was a great experience. I would say uh, some of the absolute best Italian food you can get on Disney property. Right, maybe um, second to Vianapoli. That's, that's it. about it. That's about yeah. it. Honestly, I've tried Terralina and Maria and Enzo's at Disney Springs. Both, both pretty good, but I, I, I think this is better, just personally speaking. So. 
So yeah, we hope you guys really enjoyed this restaurant review, honestly. We tried to give you as much B-roll footage this time as we could. A lot of footage of the kitchen with all them cooking yeah, and everything. just because you get to see the open kitchen concept here, and that is just such a cool feature. Yeah. Um, but, you know, staff was amazing. So yeah, staff was great. We had a lot of fun here tonight, and uh, we're so happy to be back and filming again. Uh, if you guys uh, are new to our channel, check out the rest of our videos. We do a ton of West, uh, Walt Disney World dining videos, uh, Disney Springs dining, um, you know, hotel tours, all that sort yeah. of stuff. You can also find us on TikTok and Instagram under the Date Hoppers. Um, yeah. We do lots of posts there as well. If you want to get, you know, something a little quicker than, uh, than a YouTube video. Yeah. Our new stuff coming out every day. Absolutely. Our TikTok uh, is up to 24,000 followers. Super thankful for all of you guys. Uh, we just hit that number recently, and Instagram uh, has been constantly posting every day. So, thank you guys so much for supporting us. Uh, please like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what looked good, and uh, and check us out next time. My name is Jared, and I'm Molly. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the flip flop. What do we think? Oh my god, I'm in love with this Papa Bell. This is so good.